Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mad Zach here bringing you episode two of PAX to Franchise. Now, in the last episode, we got knocked out in the first round, but that's not a big deal. We're back here today. We got our three stars from last episode Mr. Milan Lucic, Patrick Hornfist, and Devin Dubnik. So, we got, we got face off packs here, 25K packs. We're going to open up four. And we're going to see what we have. We're going to open up two of these Gold Plus packs as well. And then I have two more just in case that I don't have enough players. So uh, we're going to start with the Gold Plus packs for the first one. So I already have a left winger and a right winger and a goalie. And uh, so I'm looking for anything to fill the team right now. Franz Nielsen, center. And Martin Nook as well. Who else do we got here? Gazdick. And Dubinsky returns. So we got uh, Brandon Dubinsky back. Johan Franzen as well. And Cam Ward. So we got two goalies. We're good there. Meet you in the second pack. All right, second goal plus pack. Here we go. Uh, we got a few forwards. No D yet. Uh, so defense would be nice on this pack. Philip Larson, that's a start. Nick Holden, another one. So uh, two defense. There's Marchenko. We had him in the last uh, packs of franchise. Uh, Brendan Gallagher, so Gallagher joins the team, uh, and Galchenyuk, so the Gallagher-Galchenyuk combination joins this team, uh, Yannick Weber is also on the team, so we got defense, we got a good center and a good right winger as well, put them all on the team, and see you in the, in the special pack. Now we move on to the special packs, and the face-off packs, we get three rare players, last time we had one, and we got Hornfist in it, which helped us a lot in our mode. Uh, so obviously we want something big. We already got Galchenyuk and Gallagher to help our team. That's a big help. Uh, here, there we go. Warsawski, Icari. Uh, where are our specials? Radulov. All right, <laughs> Alex Radulov. Uh, Travis Zajac and Nick Bukestad. So a bunch of centers and forwards. Obviously we're still looking for a defenseman, and uh, hopefully we get him in the next pack. Second special pack here, boys. Um, here we go. And so far, Puempel, Dennis Weidman, so a defenseman, which is good. Still waiting for our rares. Drew Stafford, John Gibson, so another goalie, and Carl Hagelin. So a fast forward in Hagelin for sure. Uh, Gibson will help in net as our backup probably, and uh, we'll see you in the next pack. All right, another special pack here, boys. Uh, we got a pretty good team so far. We got good centers now. Galchenyuk, Dubinsky, and Bukestad. Also got Franz Nielsen in there. Uh, we got a bunch of wingers. Gallagher and Radulov. Chad Johnson will unfortunately not make the team. Neither will Michael Neuvert. Uh, Komarov might. Leo. And still looking for defense. Give me a special defenseman, please. Dion Phaneuf works. All right, so we got Dion Phaneuf for our decor. That helps a lot, and I'll see you for the next special pack. All right, guys, final face-off pack. Um, I'm think I might go. I think I might go ahead and open up the uh, gold plus pack because we need defense. Uh, we're missing it here. We get Dustin Brown, another winger. Um, you know, we got enough wingers. Ryan Spooner, Connor Carrick, a defenseman. That's good. And Chris Tanev, so another defense. That's good. So we got Tanev to help because um, right now I'm only looking at Fenoff, Weidman, and Tanev till now. Um, so far besides this pack, Dustin Brown might make the team as a fort liner. Maybe we'll see. So I will open up the gold plus packs to help. Um, I mean, anything, anything can come out of those packs, obviously. And, uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So two more packs, gold plus packs, uh, just looking to fill out the team for now. Um, here we go. So far, so good. Just jerseys. Travis Zajac. We already have Zajac. Uh, he probably will fit in in our fort line. Uh, Justin Fontaine will not make the team. Anders Lee will, might make the team, I think. Leon Dreisaitl could make the team as well. So we got a few players here that we can look at for sure. Dreisaitl for sure. Anders Lee. No defense, though. That's really what I'm missing right now, and that's probably going to downfall us. But um, we'll add these players and uh, see how it goes. All right, last gold plus pack of this uh, pack opening. I only have a few defense that I really want to keep. Um, hopefully, we can get one here. A special one would be great. Uh, Greg Patterin, okay, he'll make the team maybe. Uh, Franz Nielsen, we already have him, unfortunately. That waste a pick for us. Uh, Salomaki, Johnson, 
Uh, Joel Edmondson, so another defenseman. That's good. Thomas Placanic. So we got a bunch of Montreal Canadian players, including Placanic, Galchenyuk, Gallagher, and Radulov. Um, I have no doubt that they probably will stay on the team. We will go see what our team looks like. I will do that, and I will meet you guys in our first game, and I will show you the lines and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, I already sent the preseason and everything. As the Las Vegas Aces, once again, um, I've done our lines. As you can see, our three players are back. Lucic and Horkvist are there with Placanics on the first line. Uh, we'll try that out for now. On the second, we got Galchenyuk with Gallagher and Haglin. On the third, we got Dreisaitl with Dubinsky and Radulov. And on the fourth, we got Brown, Bukestad, and Lee. Uh, for our defense, that was a real problem in this one, but it didn't, it didn't actually turn out that bad. Dion Phaneuf and Chris Tanev are going to lead the way. Uh, Nick Holden and Dennis Weidman and Yannick Weber and Joel Edmondson. Now, as for goalie, of course, we still got Devin Dubnik, and we got John Gibson this year as our backup goalie. Um, so this team looks pretty good. Uh, the first line, I want to put a little bit more skill maybe later, but for now it's okay. Uh, we're going to try out these lines for a little bit, see how it goes. We're going to slow sim the first game like we always do, and uh, we'll see how that one goes. I'm really excited to do this again. Uh, this, this time I took away a random team, and that random team was the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, nothing against the Canucks or anything. I just closed my eyes, went up a bunch of times, and... Landed on Vancouver. So here we go, guys. Uh, first game of the new year. First period. We are down by three. So they started Gibson. I don't know why. Sam Bennett, Stagent, and Brower got three goals for the Flames. Now we're down. Here we go. Second period. 4 nothing. Not any better. Michael Backlund gets one. And for the last period, we get shut out. Johnny Gaudreau adds one as well. 5 nothing. So not a good start to our year. Um, I don't understand why they started Gibson, though. I, I, I'm pretty sure Devin Dubnik was the first goalie I put. So uh, here we go. We're going to slow sim it, and we're going to go all the way to the halfway point of the season, see where we are, see if we have a chance, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. So we're at the halfway point of the season. We are 23-15-3. We are second in the division, and um, it's all because of Alex Galchenyuk. No, I'm just kidding. Not all because of him, but he's been leading the way for us, 37 points. Lucic and Hornqvist, 35 and 34, have been helping us throughout the way. Gallagher has 27. Bukestad, Hagelin, and Radulov has been doing good on the third line. So, um, so far the team's doing good. Uh, no doubts about it. Uh, Dreisaitl, there's a few guys. Dion Phaneuf, our first defenseman. So, uh, not so bad so far. Our defense are obviously lacking in the points direction, but their plus minuses are okay. Plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, you know. Half of them are in the plus, the other half is in the minus, I guess. But, uh, yeah, Galchenyuk's been leading the way for us, probably looking like he's going to get a three-star spot, hopefully. Uh, Dubnik for us has been doing okay, I believe, 224, 16, 11, and 3, 921. So, you know, not so bad so far. Uh, we are in second place, so I can't complain at all. Um, I'll show you guys who the leader is at this point in the league. If I can just get there. There we go. Jake Voracek, 48, Ovechkin, Stamkos, Kopitar, Crosby, you know, Brian Little, the names you hear about all the time, especially Brian Little, uh, Kucherov, Marshawn, Palat, Kane, Hoffman, Tarasenko, Perry, you know, the, the guys you usually see at the top. Uh, for goalies so far, uh, Pavlik has been leading the way in the NHL, which is very ironic because he is not in the NHL right now. 2.05 goals against, 24-5-2. With a 9-3-1. So, uh, you know, 84 overall goalie leading the way. That's pretty uh, pretty rare. But uh, that's okay. We're going to keep going with our sim. We're going to sim when we have five games left into the season uh, to see where we're at, see if we're a playoff team or not. Give us a good eye, and uh, I'll see you guys there. So now with five games left in the season, we are 39-30-8. and 30 and eight. Uh, We are fourth in the division. Uh, we have to fight for a playoff spot, I think. Um, the one weird, weird thing about this time is uh, Lee and Haglin apparently don't like to play on our team because Haglin, I had him on the second line for almost all the year, uh, probably 60, 65 games in, and he just wasn't happy. So he's now a 79 overall, and Lee dropped to an 80 overall. 
So I'm not going to, you know, I don't understand it. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it was maybe because of the power play time or something. I don't know. But uh, they're on the fourth line now with Bukestad. I moved up I moved up Radulov because he was tearing it up for a little bit. I brought Gallagher to the second. I moved up Dustin Brown for the third to play with Dubinsky and Dreisaitl. And I'll let the Crybabies play on the fourth line for the rest of the season and the playoffs. Um, so we are with five games left to play in this regular season. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a g- good chance to get in there. So we're going to slow sim the Sharks. And then again, the Sharks and then the Coyotes the, and then the final two with Edmonton. So here we go. San Jose. Uh, we're in Las Vegas. Hometown crowd. First period. No score. Second. Tie game. Horkvist and Bodker get a few. And the third period, we lose 4-1. to one. Burns, Slemko, and Logan Couture. They just, uh, just ran over us there in the third. So... Moving on to the next game, we're just hoping to make the playoffs here right now. Um, you know, that's all we really want. Try to get there and get excited and all that stuff again. So, uh, second game against the Sharks of this five games remaining. First period. There we go. 3 nothing. Gallagher, Tanev, and Radulov. All from pretty much the same spot. That's great. Second period. 4 nothing. Haglin gets one. All right. So, are you going to stop crying now? Third period. 6-1, to one, Weidman and Dreisaitl, Justin Braun get, gets one for them as well. Uh, so we take that one, 6-1. to one. So convincing, we want to make the playoffs, looks like. Uh, we have a little bit of road left ahead of us. Uh, we got Arizona now. We're still looking for that uh, notification to tell us that we are in, but we could easily be out as well. Uh, here we go, for a man against Galchenyuk, first period. Dubinsky gets one, second period. They tie it up. It was 2-2 two two now. White and Richardson and Galchenyuk gets one. And in the third, we take it. Milan Lucic, 3-2 for us. Uh, that's a big win there for sure. Uh, here we go now. We got Edmonton, our last two games of the season. Um, nothing yet. Hey, and there it is, boys. We qualify for the playoffs once again. So um, we're in. Uh, that's really exciting. Uh, Weber and Bukestad, Fanoff and Galchenyuk against the MTN editor. We win again, 4-1. to one. And uh, so happy to be back in the playoffs, honestly. There's nothing better than doing one of these and you get to the playoffs because there's so many teams that, you know, you think that they're so good and then they just flop. So for us to be there, that's good. Um and we just ran over Edmonton right there. Radulov with two Lucic and Placanics. Um In the third, second period, it was just Nugent Hopkins. So uh, we're going to go to the playoffs, see, we, see who we get. We're in the West this year, so it might be a little bit harder. Um, I'm just saying that, of course, practically on knowing a little bit about it. Not too sure. So you guys can see we finished third in the division behind the Sharks and the Kings. And uh, we're waiting to see who our opponent will be. And... It is St. Louis, the Blues. So a very tough playoff series for sure coming up for us. Uh, Toronto made the playoffs. Ottawa made the playoffs. Uh, Winnipeg. And that's it for Canadian teams, I think. Yep. Ottawa, yep. So here we go. We are in St. Louis for the first game. Uh, I guess we are not the home team advantage. So first period, tie game, Perron and Gallagher. Second period, we take the lead, Lucic and Lee, Fabry gets one for them. Third, we take game one, Brandon Dubinsky scores, 4-2. to two. I don't know why I'm not slow simming the third, but I'm just really, like, pumped. I, um, I you know, I just want to win. I just want to get there. Uh, here we go, game number two, still in St. Louis. First period, one nothing for us. Brandon Dubinsky again, second period, 2 nothing. Thomas Placanics in the third. 3-1, to one. we take game two as well. Placanics again, Tarasenko gets one. Now, we were up 2 nothing in the last series, so I'm not going to jinx anything. But, um, no, it's never over, obviously. Now we're going to Las Vegas, up 2 nothing in the series. Um, you know, anything can happen, so let's go. Game three, um, I'm just really excited to see this. Uh, first period, now we're down 2 nothing. Reeves and Berglund second, still down. 
And the third, not enough. Radulov gets one, but that's not enough. So we are down game three. We're still up by one. We're going to game four. Um, a big win here for sure if we do get it. Carl Hagelin is still moping. And um, here we go, game four. Game four of the first round. Uh, nobody got swept yet. Ottawa's on the verge of sweeping Tampa, I think. But here we go, first period. No score. Second, one nothing. Brandon Dubinsky again. Uh, that's the... That's amazing for Dubinsky. I mean, he's scored so many goals. So here we go. I'm going to slow sim it. Hopefully we can get it. Let's see. 15 minutes left. Power play. Anyone? No. Okay. 10 minutes. This is nerve wracking. I really don't want it to go to overtime. David Perron. David Perron. And Fabry. What's this? Are we collapsing, boys? There we go. Galchenyuk ties it up. There we go. Good job, buddy. Are right, going to go to overtime? Okay. Oh, another overtime game. Who's going to be the hero? Who's going to who who's it going to be? Tell me it's us. Come on, aces. It is Gallagher. Oh yes, we are moving to game 5 with a 3-1 series lead. Brandon Gallagher. Way to go, buddy. All right, so we're going back to St. Louis for game 5. Um any sweeps yet? Florida swept Toronto, which is uh you know, probably a learning experience for him. But anyways, here we go. Game five. We look, we're look. we looking to take the series here. First period. We're down by one. Dubinsky again. Berglund and Reeves also. Dubinsky's tearing it up right now. Second period. 4-1. Tarasenko gets two. And uh, I don't think we're going to get it. Let's slow, we're not going to slow some. Yeah, Landon Ferraro gets another one. 5-1. to one. St. Louis wins. Game five. We're going back to Las Vegas. For game number six against the Blues, who are giving us a fight for sure. Um, you know, anything can happen, guys. Let's try to get it going. You know, Galchenyuk is not... I haven't heard him a lot. Gallagher obviously scored the overtime winner. But Dubinsky's been the guy. So, first period, Tarasenko again. one nothing. Second, tie game. Dubinsky is just... I don't know. He's This is crazy. Carl Hagelin gets one and Stastny. So we're going to slow sim this game right here. We're tied in the third. We're leading them by shots. Um, they're still going up. Ten minutes left. Power play for St. Louis. Dubinsky scores shorthanded. Shorthanded goal. Placanics adds another one. Oh my god. Brandon Dubinsky. This is insane. Fanoff adds the empty netter. We are going to the second round. Second round for the first time in this series. That's awesome. Brandon Dubinsky. Holy moly, man. How many points does he have in these playoffs? I got to go check because that was, what, four or five goals? Player stats. He's got to be up there in the lead. Radulov. Radulov and Dubinsky are just working it. I don't know. Dubinsky, six goals in six games. Radulov, a point a game. Bukestad, five assists. You know, this is much more than I could have asked for, for sure. Um, wow, this these guys, man. Way to go, boys. Hornqvist is not, well, not bad, I guess. So, um, that's amazing, obviously. Radulov went actually up. He's now an 84 overall. That's kind of cool. Um Six points from Radulov, six points from Dubinsky. This is insane, boys. We're going to round two. We are going to round number two. I'm going to go to the calendar for it to go a little bit faster. Um, this is unbelievable. Like, I did not, you know, for a second think that this team was a little bit better than the last one. I thought they were pretty equals. But I didn't get any players that big compared to the last one. But anyways, who we got? We got the Blackhawks. Oh, it's in the game. No, that sucks. Well, we won it. That's good, but I want to show, slow sim it for you guys. But all right. Um, okay, fine. So uh, sorry, guys, that uh, I did not want that to happen. But uh, here we go. Game number two. We won number one in Chicago. So first period, down by one. Patrick Kane with a second to go, really. Second period, no score. Third, no score. So we get shut out by Corey Crawford. And the Blackhawks, 
one does nothing in game two. Uh, series is tied. Uh, man, the Kings and the Sharks are playing again. That's crazy. And the New York teams are playing as well. But anyways, enough about that. Game three in Las Vegas. Uh, first period, down by two. Taze twice. Second, we get one back. Anders Lee. And uh, we're going to slow sim this one just because it's close. Two to one. Let's see what we can do. Third period. We got more shots than them. Crawford is doing his job again. Come on. Dustin Brown. Way to go, buddy. Dustin Brown. But Ryan Hartman gets one right back. Like, not even two minutes apart. We're down by one again. Five minutes to go. We got a hero today. Power play. We got it. No, that's not good. No, we're going to lose this one again. We're down by one game now, two to Blackhawks um, in the second round. Um, you know, what can you expect, I guess? Uh, we're still in Las Vegas, though. We're going for it. Let's tie up the series, boys. Why is Radulov taking the draw? I don't get that. Uh, Patrick Kane gets one. Duncan Keat gets one as well. If we don't win this one, boys, it's not looking good, but let's see. Power play, maybe? Nope. Okay. Man, Crawford has been playing amazing for the Blackhawks in this series. Um, you know, where's Dubinsky? Where's the goal scorer? Let's go. Radulov and Bukestad with a point. There's Lucic with one. Two minutes to go. Can we get another one? Tie it up? Maybe? No. Okay. So we're down three to one. Now it's bleak. Um, it's just... It's never been done until four. Uh, you win four games, but uh, the Blackhawks are the Blackhawks, and they keep winning. They just do it. So here we go. We're back in Chicago. Game five. Here we go. First period. So we're down by one. Radulov gets one with a second left. Taze and Hosa. Second period. Four or two. Lucic gets one, but Seabrook and Panarin get one as well. We're going to slow it down, see if we can get any kind of comeback here to save our season. But... Um, we don't know. Let's see. That doesn't. That's not promising. Mark McNeil gets one for Chicago. Ten minutes to go. I don't think so, boys. This is not the year for us at all. Well, not at all. We did pretty good. Ryan Hartman sinks it. So we are done. The Blackhawks finished us in five games. Um, a great, great season, though. We got farther than we did last time. Um, you know, what can you expect? From a team like Chicago, they're obviously going to be a great team. Um, so now we're going to go to um, the MV, the three stars, not the MVP, the three stars of the season. Um, now there's a few names I like. There's a few names I want to keep, and I'm going to go with these three guys for sure. So the third star is uh, going to be Brandon Dubinsky, the playoff hero. He only had eight goals in the regular season, and he probably had about six, six or seven in the playoffs. He didn't show up for the second round, but Chicago was just probably too dominant. He was probably watching Taser Kane or something. He just dominated in the first round for us. He gets the third star honors, uh, no doubt. The second star goes to Alex Radulov, who just floored it through the season, had 59 points. He started on the third line, and I only moved him up with like 20 games left to the first and he was just dominant he's only an 83 overall but he put up 59 points for us which is great and our first star goes to our point leader alex galchenyuk 73 points 21 52 um so i'm i'm bringing back two two centers galchenyuk obviously i mean 73 points you can't really find another great center like that it's hard to especially in pack openings because you can get so much of something and you never really know so I'm going to leave myself up to luck for the next one. Um, obviously, I could have another player I could have taken that I, th I thought about was Fnuff just because we needed a defense. Um, but I'm going to leave it up to chance. And a goalie as well. I can't take um, I can't take Devin Dubnik back. But that's okay. Um, you know, he had an okay season again. I could have taken Gibson, but he's only an 84 overall. We could probably get an 86 overall or something. So uh, three stars again. Um all uh, all forwards, um, Dubinsky, playoff hero, Radulov, just a riser through the season, and our point leader, Alex Galchenyuk, gets the first. So that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this was a, this is still amazingly fun because it 
blends up two of my favorite things, uh, which is packs and uh, franchise. Uh, real quick, I'll show you guys before I go, actually, just to see who got the most points in the league. Uh, Ovechkin had 89 and Kopitar had 89. Ovechkin hits 50 goals again. Uh, 88 from Crosby, 85 here. Kessel, 85. Carlson, 84. Two points more than he did last year. That's awesome. Well, last year in real life, of course. But anyways, that's it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to see anything else, if you want me to change something, I will. Um, and unless, you know what? No, wait, let's wait a sec. Let's see who wins the cup. Let's see who wins the cup. I feel bad leaving the video and you guys not see who actually gets there. Not like us. But um, we're going to go here and we'll see. I'm sure Scout can just buzz off. Here we go. Come on. Where is the draft? Where is the Stanley Cup champs? I don't like that it freezes. It doesn't move it up. You know, it says it still says that we're down 4-1. But I think it should like change the numbers. And there you go, guys. So not too bad. We lost against the Stanley Cup champions. I mean, we can't complain too much. Uh, Chicago wins the cup. You know, obviously the dynasty that they have over there. There it is. There's the banner. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This really is the end this time. Um, you know, I just I just love doing this video. Packs the franchise. It's such a fun series to do. And uh, unless the world ends, I will see you in the next one.